Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is, well, what if Naruto had sunshine? Part 1. And, well, this is just gonna be a new what if I'm doing. Because I might be ending, uh, what if lights, what if Naruto had lightsaber in some kind of parts and all that. But yeah, now, let me explain first. Before I even explain about the what if, let me explain something first. You people seriously just want to die. So I made this post like yesterday at night and all that. And I say, so what, uh, what, ca what clan, which clan would you like to be? Like 60, 61% of you picked the Uchiha. 20, uh, 20% picked the Hatagate. I'm happy because, well, Hatagate is cool. Uh, 3% of you like Sweet Home Alabama. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, 15 picked Karama, and 1% picked uh, Yamanaka. But if you didn't read what I actually put before you decide to pick the Uchiha, so if you pick the Uchiha, you want to die to Itachi, you are not Itachi's brother or cousin, he will not show you mercy, any, any mercy, okay? So you're fucked. You died. Well, Hatake, you would just be the brother of Kakashi or cousin or something like that. Um, for Hyuga, you like Sweet Home Alabama, okay? And no, you were not gonna be in the Baruto Next Generation Hyugas or whatever. I don't know why I put a dimple, cannot be. Oh, yeah, you am a target. And Kurama's simple, Yamanaka's simple, you just don't won't get any special new abilities from the Baruto, whatever. So, yeah. Also, I did make the uh, for this one, I forgot to mention this, but. They have the abilities, they have the bloodlines, you have nothing. I forgot to mention, I forgot to explain that. Uh, I really didn't. So, Maru Ujiha, Do, uh, Dongsi Do Flamingo, uh, Pargis uh, D Ace, Itachi Ujiha, uh, Byakuya Kiss, whatever his name is, last name is. All of them have their powers and personalities from the original anime. You have nothing. Whoever picks the uh, characters or whatever. I mean, not pick the characters. Whoever picked their brothers or whatever. 60% of you picked Itachi. You you want Itachi to kick your ass and also decide to um murder your fucking entire family? Damn. Damn, that's fucking... That's dark. You guys are emo. <laughs> you, you guys must be Sasuke, just emo ass. 25% of you picked Mara, so Mara is just going to be training you, wanting you to become strong. Also, Mara did not kill Izuna Ujiga. Fuck off. He did not... Sw my fucking days. Izuna Ujiga got killed by Toriyama Senju. How the fuck does Mara even kill him? No, he takes Izuna Ujiga's eyes to have the internal, you dense fuck. Don't see Doflamingo. Only 1% of you picked him. I fucking hate all of you. No, nah, I'm just kidding, but seriously. Doxy Doflamingo is probably gonna give you a devil fruit. He probably find a devil fruit and give it to you. And you have powers now. Guess what? You probably also be able to train an armament hawking. God. It's an armament hawking isn't presented to one bloodline or anything like that. Also, you will probably be royalty. You dead as fuck. Uh par uh party ace. I mean you can uh, he can probably also find you another devil fruit and you can become his brother. Bro. Or adopt it with him. Well, not adopt him. Also, you're not really brothers, but yeah, you get the point. And also, you'd be kind of related to the, what's it called, Pirate King. The previous Pirate King before Luffy, you know. Goldie Rogers. Uh, Itachi Uchiha. I did mention that you won't. Uh, yeah, you get the point. But, um, Itachi Uchiha. You just want your whole fucking family to die. God, I went on a rant for this shit. Uh, Byakuga, uh, if you break the law, he's sending you to jail. <laughs> He's gonna execute your ass. <laughs> like a one person picked that, okay. But yeah, that's all I wanted to mention because I swear to God, you you people are just really wanna die. Back to the what if after my little roast on fucking the air, not even roast, on uh, my little rant on almost everyone just wants to die by be, being a Nuchia or being a Hugo Sweet Home Alabama. If, if you want to do that Sweet Home Alabama, go to Alabama. Fuck off. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting anyone to pick Yuga. 
So let me do this. Okay, let me do this. What if? So what if Naruto had sunshine? Now, Naruto. So he is gonna be able to have the ability sunshine. It's he's not gonna be sort of the reincarnation of Escon or anything. But yeah, let me begin. Now the Naito still attacks and everything will still happen. Naruto was born. He still has the nine toes inside him. Still sealing him. Everything with Rajon Kanan will go the same. We go into an eight-year-old Naruto. Not a six-year-old Naruto. Six-year-old Naruto, he still tried to protect the Naruto. And Naruto leaves. And yeah, you're fine. Now, an eight-year-old Naruto is getting bullied by bullies. Yeah, who who actually can actually think about that. But yeah, he's getting bullied by bullies until, well, it's sort of... It's kind of, what's it called, it's, um, the sun is rising up, and Naruto is just getting hurt by bullies, and by getting hit by a stick, a rock, a bat, whatever you could point. He's getting hit by everything. The bullies are saying, demon, you weakling, blah, blah, blah. Even the grown-ups are actually doing the same thing. Now, this is not part of, they're, they're part of, a, what's it called, they're in a part of the village, which no ninjas patrol there, exactly, and a bunch of civilians are right now beating up Naruto. That's why Naruto says, stop it. Stop it. Those are Naruto's going in size. And it's becoming bigger and bigger. At the height of Escanor. Now. He became 10 eighths. Now he does have muscles and all that. And of course it's tall as fuck. He also does have the same color of orange. When he goes into sunshine like Escanor. You know. Because orange is the color of the sun. So. I know I didn't say he's a reincarnation. He's just going to have some things like Escanor. So, yeah. But, with that happening, Naruto... Wait, no. I'm going to say that Naruto was born with orange hair. So, yeah. Because of a mixture of, well, Kushinas and Minotos will actually make fucking orange. Why? Wait, why didn't that just make sense? Let's just have him orange, but whatever. With that happening... He's now tall as fuck. Um, he doesn't have pants anymore because, well, his pants are rip. And, uh, yeah. But this is the kid, Naruto. So calm the fuck down, you fucking perverts. So, this is when Naruto kind of gets angry and grabs one of the, uh, what's it called, Sibylline's heads and crushes it. <laughs> just blows it off. Just, like, crushes his head. Because Naruto is tall as fuck. So... Half the civilians are screaming, half the bullies are screaming. This is where Naruto says, unconscious thing, saying, sun, sunball, destruction. And just like flicks a sunball that was the size of well, some buildings, and boom, half that village goes. Pfft. Yeah, there was a huge ass fucking crater part of that village. And this is where Sabatobi said, What the fuck was that? This is where Naruto. He, well, jumps away. He, like, fucking jumps away. And some ninjas were going, but they didn't see Naruto. Naruto jumped away. He got to a cave and fell asleep after that. But, yeah. With that happening, uh, Horusen gets to that part of the village, and he just sees this giant fucking crater all just burnt. Because the sun is going to leave, like, ash burns and all that. There are so many civilians just all crispy. Civilians, children, all crispy. Now. Now, Horusen does not know who actually did this. And it's terrifying to know that someone this strong has went into the village and just set a fucking nuke. Well, he doesn't know what a nuke is, but he just said he set some kind of giant explosion. Which, he doesn't get why everything's also scorched. Even though explosions will scorch it, it's a perfect round sort of circle dome because the sun was a perfect circle and then boom um he, he thought he would see more craters it was a perfect crater and all that but he would see like tinier craters but there's no tiny craters at all and all the buildings near it that was kind of near the radius all are gone the buildings that were almost near the radius are kind of scorched and people that are around it well almost not even uh what's it called close to the uh Sun attack, were still able to get scorched. So they got about a third degree burnt. Yeah, third degree burnt, second degree burnt, and even a first degree burnt. So some people that were far, uh, further away from the attack. 
Yeah, Naruto fucked up a lot of people. But that's not the point. Naruto, he's back to the freaking cave, well, the cave he fell asleep in, and he wakes up the next day. He gets to the village, and, well, part of the wall, he was also, that attack was kind of near the wall that was actually destroyed. I'm gonna say it was the west side that was destroyed. And Harusen was shocked. He doesn't know who exactly did this. He doesn't know what happened. The only thing he can only think about is the, well, Chichurki, the, what's it called, Naruto. Maybe he summoned out the Nine Tails, but that doesn't actually get the point. He would have felt the Nine Tails chakra. He would have felt the power. The reason why Naruto was able to do the sun attack while Harusen didn't even realize it, well, it's because Naruto was able to use magic. Because sunshine is magic and not chakra. So with that happening, Naruto did a sunball without anyone noticing it because they all thought it was a normal sun. That's a little, was a little bit closer. But not the point. So our Naruto, he is well, just back to the village. Uh, there's no gate guards because a bunch of gate guards are right now at the west side and well protecting that side because they got to rebuild it. Yamato was there. He was trying to like rebuild the place, use his wood style. When he used his wood style near the scorch side and all that, like sort of the uh, scorch giant crater, it kind of burned his wood. He was kind of confused. When he tried to use his like wood and all that, it was still kind of well. The crater was still freaking heat. Like there was a lot of heat. When Yamato did try to use wood style, it burned. And well, Yamato just asked Karuzin, well, they. That they need a lot of water juice to use it because, well, the problem is, it is still very, very hot at that crater. And also that the hospital was full of people that had third degree burns, uh, what's it called? Third degree burns, second degree burns, and, uh, what's it called? First degree burns. Even some people with fourth degree burns are fucking dead. But yeah, with that happening, um, well, Naruto was just walking through back to his house or apartment. Now, his apartment wasn't near the attack and all that because, well, he only went to that part of the village because he wanted to go get something real fast from a store. But, yeah. He then got captured by some people and tried to get beat up, but yeah. Now, Naruto has no clothes. He is walking in the village butt naked. As you know, I'm gonna just say he has his pants, his shirt, just the one rip, okay? So, he still has his shorts, okay? They're a little too long, but yeah, you can find Now, Naruto... He's just going back to the uh, apartments, and yeah. He just doesn't know what exactly happened. Well, he does know what exactly happened, but he's scared to say anything. So he says after nothing. He just wonder why that was, uh, that he could do that. He, well, he was unconsciously, but yeah, he doesn't know that much. He kind of blacked out. When he was kind of getting beaten up, he woke in his eyes when, this, when he did the sun attack. But of course, his eye went back to close. But yeah, he felt unconscious. Now, Naruto is just at his apartment, just kind of eating ramen. Yeah, like nothing ever happened. Back to, well, Haruto and Yamato. Of course, they used a bunch of water juices, and it took them about three days to put, uh, bleh, put off the heat. The heat was so intense that Yamato could never use his wood side because it was wood was burning every time he tried to make a what's it called a, a building of well that giant crater or tried to cover it so yeah Haruzen was shocked that he needed that many users of water sound to try to put off the fire the yeah he doesn't know who exactly did this or maybe it was just someone that pissed someone off but he's kind of scared because if it was near the main part of well the village and not like the dumps the uh well, kind of red light district and all that, then, well, the village would kind of not be standing that much. But, yeah, he's kind of happy that it was near that village. He's not happy, but, yeah, he was kind of glad that, well, the person who did it kind of just fucked up this side and not the, well, main part of the village. So, yeah. Of course, no one actually... One knows what exactly happens. Those people who actually are beating up Naruto can't really come back to life and say, yeah, it was Naruto because they're dead, dead. They're, they're gone. Their bones are just fucking gone because, well, 
I know some people is going to say, but fire can't really burn bones. Yes, it can if you're in fucking sun. We don't actually know how hot... Well, everyone knows how hot the sun is. Just saying, it's very hot. So I'm guessing it fucking can burn your bones easily. But yeah, with that happening, we go into just Naruto eating. The next day happens, he goes to school. Nothing really special happens, but yeah. So our Naruto just kind of, what's it called? <clears throat> he just goes in the normal day and all. The Uchiha just kind of heard about this and were kind of shocked. And thought of putting the Kurata if finding out who was the actual responsibility to actually use that sun attack or whatever. Or fire attack. They, they mostly consider it as an SS rank fire attack because, well, it is stronger than the Mokitan user, uh, well, Yamito. And, well, Donato wants to find this person who has this ability. Uh, the Uchiha wants to find that also they, so they can start a coup d'etat. But, yeah. Um, so, Naruto is just, like, kind of just chilling. And, of course, he just one day kind of fights against some people, gets beaten up, and blah, blah, blah. Really, nothing really exciting happens. Naruto doesn't want to get near the sun. He doesn't want to actually grow up or anything like that or become bigger so what he does is train at the night he trains his body at the night and yeah one day when he was 10 years old i should mention he trained so hard at the night outside the village that when he woke up it was right now daylight now of course his body didn't change or anything so yeah now horusen doesn't know why naruto trains at the night so he doesn't really pay attention to Naruto that much at all or after the incident because, well, he doesn't well, really care about Naruto. He doesn't think Naruto went into the, well, what's called Nine Tails because the seal was still uh, good enough when uh, what's called Jiraiya and Haruto went there to knock out Naruto and see the seal. So Naruto's fine. He doesn't know what actually happened. But yeah. But yeah, Naruto wakes up and he w he was seeing the sun and all that. It was kind of bright. And he kind of looked at the pond because he thought maybe he can't get into the village no more. And he sees his body is normal. is not having grown into that tall size. So, of course, he kind of just kind of just keeps training in the daylight and all that. But yeah. Now, of course, Naruto is just training in physical because he doesn't actually have anything to do with chakra. He does go to the academy, but none of them really teach anything about chakras towards Naruto. Just give boring lectures. So yeah. So Naruto, he's just training and how to uh, see if he can do that sun attack. He managed to do a tiny sun uh, ball in his hand. And when he throws it at a tree, it turns into a giant crater, hits the uh, like tree, a giant crater in the tree. And then it goes into, well, flames. It starts burning. Now, Naruto's amazed. Now, he doesn't know about this, but it has a weird feeling for him to actually use magic. He's natural in using magic than chakra. Since Karama messes up his chakra a lot, he, well, Karama can't mess up magic because he's not a being that can use magic. So, he can't mess up Naruto's, like, chakra, uh, well, not chakra, magic ability or anything like that. So, Karama sees this, and he says, ah, right, Nar, that boy did manage to do a giant fucking crater. Shocking, but not that shocking. This is the, uh, what's called the full uh, Karama and all that, I should mention, I forgot to mention that, but yeah. But yeah, Naruto's just training outside the village, kind of using his, like, magic and all that, his, like, sun magic. But yeah, this is where Naruto, he just keeps walking around, and just keeps kind of training kind of far away from the village but yeah this is where naruto he is kind of far enough from the village that well he's kind of near the fire land borders but not that close now i should mention this is a 10 year old naruto i should have mentioned but yeah naruto is pretty just far of course he's not tired or anything from walking this far because well the sun is giving him abilities yes uh well long lasting stamina 
Also, he did train since he was 8 years old to he's 10 years old. So, basically, 2 years of training. So, his stamina is pretty damn high. Now, Naruto does have what you call just a normal t-shirt. Um, his pants. And, yeah. He doesn't have the orange jumpsuit just yet. But, yeah. That's where Naruto <clears throat> kind of sees this weird looking, what's it called? Uh, the, what, the, let me say this again. He sees these weird looking people just attacking a female with white, like bright white hair and all that. Just like clear white hair, not clear, just like white, like pure white hair. And of course, silver eyes. And of course, this uh, girl is also using a sword that is kind of curvy. And of course, she's easily killing through these bandits. Now, that's where Naruto sees this. And the bandit did try to, like, hit the uh, female with an axe until Naruto appears and punches this, like, just bandit. Straight up, just knock his ass out. Now, Naruto is the height of, well, 4'9". Well, not 4'9". For a 10 year old, I mean, that's pretty tall, but let me say 5'4". He's pretty tall. Because he did train and then he damaged ramen. So yeah, with that happening, he punched that bandit so hard that that bandit had a cracked skull and knocked the fuck out. He is dead. Naruto didn't think he killed that man, so he started fighting against the bandit. The white haired girl doesn't know what's happening, so she fights along with what's called Naruto. And Naruto knocks out one bandit, uppercutting his ass straight to the fucking sky. Shiroi, well, what's it called, the white haired girl, decides to use what's it called, her sword to just cut through these bandits, and he said he killed them. Now, of course, the word Naruto, after kind of defeating these bandits and easily killing through them, this is where Naruto kind of says hello. This is where, well, the white haired girl kind of just looks at Naruto like, she kind of puts her head in an angle, kind of confused. And Naruto's like, um, do you speak the same language I speak? It's her Shiroi, who is that is her name. She says, um, hello there, Naruto. My name is Shiroi. And of course, she does kind of smile a little bit. And of course, she does, her eyes are kind of slicked, but silver slicked. She has, well, her eyes are silver, but slicked. Because, well, she's from a uh, part of clan that's kind of uh, snakes and all that. And no, it's not Archimar. And of course, somewhere Naruto says, huh, your eyes are beautiful. And of course, she really blushes a little bit. Just thanks for the compliment and all that. Not many people like her eyes or anything like that. But yeah, Naruto says it kind of kindly and all that. And of course, she really says, orange hair. That's amazing. You kind of remind me of the sun. Naruto says, ah, thanks, I guess. And of course, this is where should I say, so what, um, where are you from? Naruto says, the leaf village, I think so, or is that what it's called? Huh. Should I then say, um, hmm, that's pretty far from where we're at. This is where Naruto says, uh, where are we <laughs> exactly? Should I say, the uh, rice country. So yeah, Naruto wandered into the rice country, I'm not purpose when an accident because he was just looking through the view and all that but yeah now this is where Shiroi says so how old are you Naruto Naruto says 10 and then Shiroi says same 10 um thank you for helping me out against these uh uh these people she doesn't know how to say it that she actually just killed him and Naruto wasn't even faced by killing them he doesn't know why, but he is not phased by killing people. The reason why he's not phased is, well, at that time when he used that sun attack, he used it to defend himself from everyone. And now, of course, with that happening, he doesn't really care. He says, oh, you just killed him. That's what Shodai says, um, are you not phased? Are you not going to be scared and vomit and kind of run away from me? Naruto says, no, 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 I've done it before in the leaf village. Ah, uh, you don't need to worry about me. That's where Shiroi is kind of shocked. And of course, kind of happy to know someone else done it before in their village. So of course, Shiroi is somewhat part of what's called the Sound Village. She's not really that much part of it because she fucking hates it. But yeah. That's where, well. 
Naruto says, well, I should probably be going back to the Leaf Village. It's kind of getting dark. But I really don't like the Leaf Village that much. So yeah, now Naruto in this one is kind of smart and knows about his words. And, well not that much, he's also kind of prideful. I guess good nor. But yeah, now, this is where should I say, ah, so I see you don't like your village neither. Naruto says, the fuck no, they fucking assholes. Trying to kick my ass just because I'm a fucking kid. And should I say, huh, that's rude. And then of course she asks about Naruto's whisker marks. And Naruto says, Dude, I have no clue. This is where should I say, you look like a fox with that orange hair. This is where, well, Naruto says, uh... Thanks? You kind of look like a snake with that white hair and those eyes. And should I kind of say thanks? You're not scared of snakes, are you? You're not scared of fox, are you? And of course, both of them nodded. And what? Well, not nodded like they said yes, but they are say no instead. So of course, they're kind of happy. And of course, this is where Naruto says, want to be friends? Should I say yes? Because, well, they don't have friends at all. They think of Shiroi as a snake and are scared of her because they kind of remind them of Orochimaru. And they see Naruto and they think of the Ninetales because of the orange hair and, well, his whisker marks. Since that's the thing now, Naruto and Shiroi has kind of visited each other at the same place. Not near the bandits, but near just near a river. And, of course, for about two years, Naruto managed to well, escape the village two years. So we go into a two year time skip. Naruto's 12 years old and Shiroi is also 12 years old. <clears throat> Naruto, he's not wearing Fallout orange, okay? So he does have his orange jumpsuit. So his pants, well, are green and he does have, well, an orange t shirt. And of course, well, it's orange, of course, but of course he also does wear a brown coat. Just because, why not? Of course, Naruto kind of showed what's it called, should always, uh, well, his ability, how to use the sun a little bit. And of course, I did train with that. And Naruto did also manage to summon out an axe, a golden axe. And of course, when Shiroi tried to pick it up with one hand, she couldn't, but yeah. Of course, they also trained with Shiroi's ability to use its car. Uh, all her snake technique, uh, bleh, her clan techniques. And of course, well, allowed her to kind of fight very easily and also kind of gain some speed from Naruto because Naruto was pretty fast on his feet for being a large person when he went into Sunshine Month. But yeah. Now, Naruto's 12 years old. He is, well, the height of 5'11. He is pretty tall for being a 12 year old. Shiroi, she's the height of, well, 5'11. Six. Well, not five six. Yeah, you know, she's at the height of well five eight, and she is pretty tall. So of course, both Naruto are pretty tall for being well. Naruto and Shirai are pretty tall for being just twelve years old. But of course, it's where Naruto and Shirai say so. You're gonna become a ninja in your village, and then Shirai says, "Yeah." Naruto says, "Then I want to be a village in your village." And should I say, no, no, it's fine. It's fine, Naruto. I'll, I'll be okay. That's what Naruto says. I don't fucking like my village at all. They tried to attack me. And besides, maybe if I failed this exam because I tried so many times. Yes, Naruto has tried multiple times to become a ninja. And, well, every time he fails because of some stupid clone jutsu that he can't even do. And, of course, well... Both, um, should, should I also knows about this fact and says, well, if you can't be a ninja in your village, maybe come to the South Village? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to go exactly. I don't want to be a Sound Ninja, and I don't want to be a Leaf Ninja, Naruto said. They are both near a tree near the river because they visit each other every time. Because, well, <clears throat> in the South Village, um, well, no one's really protecting Shiroi because they are all too scared of her. And in the, well, the village, no one really cares about Naruto if he leaves or goes or whatever. So, yeah. 
that Haruzen knows about Naruto disappearing every time and just training outside the village, which he's okay. He's still not caring that much about Naruto, but yeah, <clears throat> he's says well one priority that priority is to well stop whoever used that sun attack or fire attack or whatever. The Uchiha massacre still happened, so yeah. But yeah, since that is happening, <clears throat> Naruto and Shirai are just talking to each other. Sir Naruto says, How about let's just leave for my villages? And Shirai says, Wait, doesn't your village need you? Because Naruto did find out about being a Chinchuriki. He managed to read on a book or anything about that. Well, not a book. He actually met uh, uh, Nine Tails and all that. And the Kiwi did kind of tell him about his heritage and also who he is and all that. And uh, also, he has the nine tails steal him, blah, blah, blah. And he did tell Shiroi, because, well, Shiroi is his only friend. And he knows that Shiroi will not backstab him at all. But yeah, so this is where Shiroi says, but aren't you the Chinchuriki? You need to be in your village. Naruto says, screw that law. I don't care that much. This is where Shiroi says, then what do you want to suggest? Sir Naruto says, hmm. Go to another village, of course. And this is where Shiroi kind of gets up, stands up, and says, What village would that be? The stone uh, village hates you because of your father. But they don't know about my orange hair. But your whisker marks are a dead giveaway. They, they will probably think I have a disease or something, but the whisker marks. And my eyes are silver. We can just put Genshus over each other. Shiroi says, Yeah, I can do that. It's just your Genshutsu would probably be dispelled in an instant if he used your chakra. This where Naruto says, true, true, true. Hmm. The sound village? Not the sound village. The sand village? She says, I fucking hate the desert. Same here. Well, I mean, it's so much easier for me to use my sun ability near the desert since there's nothing really blocking it. She says, yeah, I know that. Hmm. The cloud village. Naruto says, hmm, that would actually be a pretty good idea. It's near near some mountains, and yeah. So, if you, what's called, don't become a ninja in the sound village, and I don't become a ninja in the, what's it called, leaf village, then let's just go to a cloud village together. And Shiroi kind of blushes and says, sure, I like that. So, that's your plan. So, the next day is now the exams for... The Leaf Village. The uh, Genin and all that. This is where Naruto is in the classroom. Now, of course, Naruto is extremely smart. But knows that Mizuki is going to try to sabotage him and all that. So, he doesn't even try. So, when he goes to what's called the exams. To like what's called the throw a shirt can. He doesn't try or anything. He doesn't care. Because he knows he would just get chewed out by the girls. And blah, blah, blah. Being annoying. And doesn't care. Now, he does not care about Sasuke, okay? He's not no damn simp for some flat bitch. So, yeah. Now, this is where Naruto, he doesn't really care about doing anything. When he goes against Sasuke, he just slaps his ass away. And, of course, while the girls start to f be annoying, Naruto just doesn't care. Yeah, Naruto just slaps uh, Sasuke really bad. Then Sasuke's knocked the fuck out. Now, of course, when it was a Shadow Clone, he fails because he doesn't try. He he knows he can make a Magic Clone, but he isn't going to try it out with that. He doesn't want to show his abilities or anything like that. So, of course, with that happening, Mizuki, well, not Mizuki, Aruka says you fail Naruto, and you cannot be in the Academy no more, so yeah. So yeah, Naruto is kicked out of the Academy and cannot be a ninja. Now, Naruto never had that same relationship with uh, what's called Aruka for four years. Because instead of, well, not four years, for one year of when Naruto was 12. Because Naruto never cared. He never tried. He never really cared that much. He fallen asleep some days, and some days he was never there because he was with Shiroi. Now, of course, with that happening, Naruto fell. Now, Naruto is actually just saying, huh, well, I fell. What's next? This is where Mizuki says, if you get these, uh, what's called, the, uh, Forbidden Scroll ceiling, then, uh, I'll let you pass. Naruto says, well, he even said this out loud. 
inquiry near Mizuki. Mizuki, I know about you and Urchimaru. First of all, I will get you the scrub, silly. First of all, I don't really care about your bullshitness. And second of all, well, no. I fucked that up, but whatever. You get the point. He just says it out quite loud to, well, what's it called? Mizuki. And of course, he managed to steal, scroll the, steal the scrub ceiling. And of course, Naruto reads on it and just kind of gets all the information. And of course, when Mizuki appears and Aruka still appears and all that, Mizuki throws a shuriken at Waruka and Naruto. What he does is, well, block the shuriken, throws it back at Mizuki, hits Mizuki, and when Aruka says, run Naruto, Naruto threw the, what's it called, a seal of scroll or something like that, into a near tree or something. And of course, when Mizuki chased after him, he left the village and Mizuki chased after him, thinking that Naruto still had the scroll of seal. When Anbus appeared, they found the, well, scroll of seal and all that. And of course, when Naruto gets to the sound village, Shirai was already there, and she says, Who's that person chasing you? Some dumbass that thinks he can work for Archimaru. Just, let's just kill him. So Shirai and Naruto does it, and they fucking murder Mizuki. Naruto grabs him from the head, and Shirai cuts his neck off. And of course, Naruto crushes his head. So they get out. They just start running. They get to the near lake, and of course, uh, Naruto washes off the... Wash the washes wash up because well he doesn't want to have Mizuki's blood or anything and he doesn't want the Inuzukas to kind of chase after him. So yeah. Both uh well Shiroi and Naruto washes up and they both dip to the Cloud Village. So they leave Rice Country to what's called to the uh well Cloud Village. So they leave Rice Country to get to hot water to get to frozen, and they get to the cloud of well, lightning village, lightning uh, country, and all that. But yeah, when they get to the lightning country, of course, well, they get to the uh, what's it called um, well, cloud village. When they get to the cloud village, they are kind of stopped by what's called some cloud ninjas. This is where Naruto and well, should I also did put a Genji to. Over both of them, so they wouldn't be looking suspicious or anything. So, of course, um, well, this is where <clears throat> the Cloud Ninja says, Halt, state your business and what do you want. Both Naruto and Shiroi say, We want to join the uh, Cloud Village and support it in becoming Genin Ninjas. This is where the Cloud Ninja was uh, suspicious and then. Naruto then says, we can go to your Raikage and ask him, can't we? And of course, this is where, well, he says, sure, then let's go. This is where they go towards the, car, the Raikage, knock at the Raikage's door, and the Raikage says, come in, please. Uh, why not come in, please? Uh, come in. And of course, well, this is where the, uh, well, the Cloud Ninja says, uh, Ayo, um, not Ayo, Raikage-sama. Uh, these two uh, kids are asking to become Genin's of, well, the Cloud Village. The Raikage A, who is, well, that's his name, says, huh. Hmm. Then, let me ask you, you two. You, uh, Cloud Ninja, you can go. Of course, the Cloud Ninja dips and all that. And A says, state why you want to become ninjas of the Cloud Village. Naruto says, well... I'm a Chinchuriki of the Nine Tails. And of course, A will hear us and say, Wait, 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 wait. Let me call someone real fast. He screams at his well, window and he screams, Killer! Well, not a killer. Uh, brother! <laughs> and this is where B shows up, like poofs, and says, Yo, 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 I'm here, brother! And of course, A will says, Check this boy right here in front of you. If he's the nine touch in Turkey. This is where Killer B says, Fist bump me, bro. This is where Naruto does it. And of course, well, uh, Killer B is like standing with his eight tails in Turkey, meeting across Naruto, the nine tails in Turkey. And of course, well, he says, Ah, I see, you are the nine touch in Turkey, bro, bro. Yeah. He's just rapping all that. And of course, well, he gets out of the what's called connection and he says, Yup. He's the nice touch in Cherokee. He he just wants to be here because of how the Leaf Village treated him. And Ao nods and says, Then, 
Welcome to the village, Naruto Uzumaki. It's a name. He said, Naruto says yes. Also, can I be with my friend on a team? And Ao says, her? Hmm. Is she a Jinjigi also? And, well, this is where Shiroi says, I'm not a Jinjigi, but I'm actually a contract summoner towards the uh, snake. The snake contract. This is where, this is where Ao says, snake contract? So, like, or tomorrow? Shiroi says, no, no. Uh, my snake contract is to the white snake. Uh, contract, not the uh, well, snake that or Jamarca summon or whatever. And this is where AO says, Fine, you can join also and be in Naruto's team. We would just pick a ninja, another ninja getting person to be in your world team. And Killer B would be your sensei. Killer B says, Wait, 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 what about my old team? That would be with the two tails. I forgot what was it. Yuga. Not Yuga. Yeah, Yuga to whatever her name was. I forgot her name. And this is where Killer B says, You want? I'll be okay then. They'll be okay. So, let's begin. So, of course, they went to go get, well, one of her, well, not get, but mostly they went to an apartment because they get to stay in another. So, Naruto and Shiroi get to stay in one apartment. So, yeah. Now, this is where Naruto is kind of just giving, like, he got, like, multiple fl uh, friendly glares. Not friendly glares. What am I talking about? Friendly looks from, like, different people and all that. Because they don't know about Naruto being the Nine Tails or should I being, well, the daughter of the White Snake Sage. So, yeah. Now... Both Naruto, are, both Naruto and Shiroi are in their apartments and they're kind of just, well, just there. They got some food and all that from the apartments and all, but yeah. But they're just kind of just sleeping there and of course the next day happens and they got to go in to meet their, well, next, um, their new teammate. Because they are now Cloud Shinobis. So yeah. Now, with that happening... This is where I'm going to leave it off. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seat. Potato, potato. Now. I'm going to just. What's called. Do part. Uh, two of. What if Naruto was the son of uh, Archimaru. But yeah. With that happening. Bye bye. Uh, have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seat. Potato, potato. Potato.